Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm talking about the different roles that exist under the broader umbrella of data science. Some of the most common questions that I get asked are about the difference between the data analyst, data engineer, machine learning engineer, and data scientist positions. In this video, I'm going to go in depth into the responsibilities that each of these different roles have and how they differ across the data science lifecycle. Before we talk about each of these positions, I think it makes sense to describe the data science project lifecycle. The main difference between these roles is the areas of this lifecycle that they cover. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button. Also, please subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted when I post my next weekly video. As it turns out, you need actual data to do data science. So the first step of the data science lifecycle starts with data collection. This is where we aggregate and store data. The next part of this life cycle is the data cleaning. We need to make sure that this information is usable and stored in a way that's easily accessible. Usually we access it through structured query language, otherwise known as SQL. Next comes the exploratory analysis. In this step, you look for trends and high level insights from the data. It's also known as EDA and it's followed by the model building phase. This is where we try to predict outcomes from our analysis. The final step is model productionization. We take our machine learning models that we've built and we make them scalable for the business. The traditional data science role broadly covers this whole life cycle. Data scientists can also specialize in some areas of this pipeline. I personally work more on data cleaning, EDA, and model building than any other part of the spectrum. The data science role has the most flexibility across this life cycle and what you do in the role can vary greatly by the company you work at. Because of the broad description, data scientists can be expected to do anything from data collection, like web scraping, using SQL to query databases, programming in Python and R, building machine learning models, and also creating productionization pipelines in Flask or AWS SageMaker. The data engineer role usually focuses on data collection and data cleaning. In this position, you're expected to have a very strong grasp of SQL. You'll be pulling data and transforming it so that it's useful to everyone else on your team. You may also be expected to know some sort of Python or R for ETLs, otherwise known as extract transform load jobs. When doing this type of work, you may want to make sure that you also brush up on database maintenance techniques. Next is the data analyst role. In this role, you focus mainly on data cleaning and exploratory analysis. In these positions, you're more prone to use BI tools like Excel, Tableau, and Power BI. You might also be expected to use Python or R to analyze the data. I always recommend people start as analysts if they're trying to get into a data science role. To transition uh, to a data scientist role, you generally just have to pick up a greater understanding of the model building process. There is some flexibility in a data analyst role, and depending on your company, you might be expected to do more on the data collection side or do some model building. Finally, the machine learning engineer role comes at the end of the life cycle. People in this position mostly focus on model building and putting the models into production. Usually, MLEs as they're called, will have a bit more software engineering experience than most of the other roles. They also generally make slightly more money because of this specialized knowledge. MLEs also often interface with the software engineering stakeholders at a company to make sure that the models that are being built work with the rest of the software infrastructure at the organization. For this role, you'll need a strong grasp of programming in Python, but you also might need experience in other languages like Java or Scala or whatever your company uses. You also need to have a strong technical understanding of the machine learning tools and production environments that are used in the field. I hope that this video provides more clarity around the types of positions that are available within the broader umbrella of data science. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.